When you share your life with someone, it is important to show how much you care for your partner. No matter how small the action, it keeps the sparkle alive. Why? Because it is just downright flattering for anyone and everyone to know and feel that someone cares about them. And in a marriage, romance actually grows with these little gestures because it sends the message that you care about your partner and that you think about him even when you are busy with everyday responsibilities of life. In this episode and the next, I have for you ideas which you can use to tell your spouse, you are always on my heart. But first, a little story. And I'm too excited to share this with you because I'm so touched by this incident. A husband says to his wife, I know whether you are angry with me or you are pleased. How do you know that? The wife inquires in amazement. The husband reveals, when you are pleased, you say by the Lord of Muhammad wasallam. But when you are angry, you say by the Lord of Ibrahim. You probably guessed by now who this couple was. The husband was our Prophet wasallam, and the wife was none other than Ummul Mu'minin Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. So what's the big tip for you in this story? This story, my dear sister, displays a big secret to a successful marital relationship. It shows us that the Prophet wasallam keenly observed his wife's personality so much that he could tell she was upset by a subtle change in her words. The story shows that the Prophet ﷺ kept a track of his wife's emotions, her likes, her dislikes. He put efforts into knowing his wife. Today, a leading expert in relationship has given a special word for this meticulous attention given to one's spouse. It's called creating a love map. And couples who do this are emotionally intelligent couples. These couples are closely familiar with each other's worlds. All relevant information about their partner's life is stored in the love map. They remember the major events in their partner's life. He knows her favorite dish. She knows his favorite speaker. He knows how she feels about those around her. She knows how he feels about his job. He knows her hobbies. She knows his favorite sport. They know each other's goals in life, each other's worries, each other's hopes. No matter how busy they are, they make each other their priority and they create this love map. And this love map is important because without such information, the spouses don't know each other. And if you don't know your spouse, how will you connect and feel close to each other? How will you share your life with each other? How will you help each other with the stresses and challenges of life? So take the time to know your spouse. Inquire, observe and build your own love map. And equally important is to share your inner world with him. And be aware that knowing your spouse is a lifelong process. Because life changes us and we are never the same person that we were a year back or five years back in this ever-changing journey of life. And while you keep busy constantly updating your love map, you are sending the message, you're on my heart and that's why I'm studying you. Knowing your spouse is the first step. Then comes putting this powerful information to work and using it to stir ideas, ideas that speak love to your spouse. I mean doing things you know your spouse would like you to do. Anything proactive. Meet him at the door, cook up some surprise, pick up something he needed, lend a helping hand in daily activities. Could be any act of service. Did you know when Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha was asked, what did the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam do in his house? She replied, he used to keep himself busy serving his family. Yes, acts of service can be very demanding, physically and emotionally. But the time you spend serving your family are moments of connection. They attract hearts because it is so refreshing 
to feel that you have someone who is concerned for you, who takes the time to meet your needs. And when you invest yourself in this, acts of service tell your spouse, you're on my heart and that's why I'm sensitive to your needs. That's it for this episode. Join me next time for more practical ideas to make your dream Muslim marriage a reality. Until then, remember, personal insight into each other's worlds will keep you both deeply connected for life. So keep those love maps updated and never shy away or be reluctant in expressing your love through acts of service. Because acts of service can do more for your marriage than any romantic vacation would. This is your sister Shawana Abdul Aziz and this has been the second episode of the Dream Muslim Marriage. Did you like this video? Then share it with your friends and help me spread the joy of living the Dream Muslim Marriage amongst a fellow striving Muslimas. Don't miss the next episode. Subscribe now to the Pure Matrimony YouTube channel and the Striving Muslima YouTube channel to stay updated.